Hi everyone, welcome to a new video here at the Betty Loves Bricks channel. Last week I told you guys about the Lego Sanderson Sisters Cottage set. Today is part two of that video because I'm gonna be showing you a whole lot more you can do with that specific set. So last week I did a review on the Sanderson Sisters cottage set i think it is an amazing set and it can really be used to make like a halloween decor as you can see this lovely little gatework in front of the house which is part of the set it reminded me a lot of a graveyard due to these little three gravestones and it got me thinking a few years ago a lego had this hidden site uh, series they had a little ghostly like theme and graveyard seams and some scary details what i particularly remember is it was named hidden side because the games came with an app that would give you this augmented reality so you could actually make like ghosts appear on your telephone when you were playing with that set so i started looking online if i could still maybe find some of those older sets and i found the lego hidden side graveyard mystery set it is a little set with only 335 pieces uh, for ages 7 plus and it will enable you to build this graveyard scene so there are several graveyards here there's actually one that can open up that has like a a skeleton with a key inside there is this it comes with a with a gate two lovely minifigures this angel statue that you can also turn around it comes with a little ghostly dog <laughs> this grave over here can actually open up the skeleton with a key inside it right now I'm actually still hoping to find a minifigure soon from Billy Butcherson then I'm sorry then this guy just has to move because Billy's got to have his own place to live in. It comes with some very cool minifigures and this um, kind of enchanted tree that looks really mysterious and dark. There's a, <laughs> there's a head in there, <laughs> you can see, belongs to this guy. <laughs> it is such a cute little set. I think sales price back then was about 30 bucks. Maybe that will help you look for it online. But what I really like is that this little set, it really is a good match with the Sanderson sisters gates. I, I don't know, it just sort of looks like everything is supposed to go together, or at least it does to me. I think if you're looking for a way to expand your Sanderson sisters cottage set, then the Hidden Side Graveyard Mystery is definitely a wonderful addition to this set. So what you can do, you can actually take bits apart, you can rebuild it, construct it any way you like. You will also get like this extra tree to go with the house. I think it looks amazing. And like I said in my last video, the Sanderson sisters are actually not allowed to land on holy ground. So they are kind of forbidden to enter the graveyards. So you can imagine that with this set, you, you can make this actual closed off graveyard, uh, which prohibits them from entering. So you can recreate a lot of scenes this way if you like playing around with your Sanderson sisters. So you can recreate a lot of extra scenes from the movies just by adding this little graveyard here. And then there is also something else, because if you really want to recreate this All Hallows Eve setting, you're gonna need minifigures, a lot of minifigures. And Thankfully, Lego has already gotten a lot of minifigures that are in a costume. So for example, this little wolf guy is part of the Lego minifigures uh, collectibles. And you know, you can remove his head. There's like a, a minifigure person underneath it. If you try to collect a few of those, you will get like a, a nice variety of children to actually play out all hollows eve if you know what i mean so over here for example i've also gotten this little skeleton guy that has like a face mask on and this well this was actually a swamp guy but we could just pretend he's like a kid that's dressed up and then i added uh, some lanterns for these two guys here just get yourself some extra minifigures. You can find them in one of the collectible minifigure series from Lego. So this way you will now be able to carry out this entire Halloween trick or treat night uh, with all these extra minifigures 
and I just love it. They make such a nice addition to my Sanderson Sisters Cottage set. But apart from this, you can also expand your set by adding, for example, some medieval houses. So for example, there's the medieval blacksmith set, which I think is about 180 euros, which is a lovely house or cottage with a blue tiled roof it ha comes with a horse and wagon and can really be used as an addition to the sanderson cottage of course but you could probably also opt for a, a medieval castle if you like and just add some of those ancient times onto your hocus pocus set so that basically means that there are several ways to go with this hocus pocus set but for sure this lego set is going to be a centerpiece in our halloween decorations this year so let me know what do you think of this hocus pocus centers and sisters cottage set what do you think of my recommendations for expansion uh, or maybe you also have a very nice idea or an additional set that can be used together with the hocus pocus set share with us in the comments please don't forget to subscribe yourself to this channel because i will be back with more lego reviews and hopefully some more lovely lego ideas to share with you. thank you for watching again and i'm wishing you a wonderful countdown to halloween thank you for watching until next time bye